All right, now that you're full weight bearing and you're done with your boot, uh, the first exercise that might be beneficial is doing a heel toe walk. So basically you're gonna pretend like you're walking on a tightrope and you're just gonna go one foot in front of the other and just go slowly. If you don't feel very steady doing this near a countertop or down a hallway, something to catch yourself would be recommended. And what you can do is go probably about 15 feet or so and maybe do that three to five times. Another exercise that you could do now that you're out of your walking boot and full weight bearing are just doing some squats. Um, so what you'd wanna start is with your feet about shoulder width apart and then hands out in front and you just kind of slowly squat down. Uh, you probably don't need to go down below 90 degrees of bend in your knee and kind of anything, at least initially, close to that is okay. If you feel unsteady, you can stand near a countertop or a railing, something that you can catch yourself if you feel uh, unsteady. Tips here would be to just make sure you're not squatting through your knees and that you're bending at your hips and so your knees don't get out in front of your toes. And here you could probably do one to two sets of 15 repetitions, just slowly up and down. Okay, and then another recommended exercise for when you're out of your boot and you're now weight bearing are just doing some heel raises. And so what you wanna do is just slowly go up on your tippy toes and then slowly back down. And you might early on not feel like you can put much weight through the injured leg. And so you might have to kind of shift your weight away from it a little bit, but try to keep it as even as you can. And if you feel like you're not very steady, you can do this near a countertop or a railing or a wall just to steady yourself. And you could do maybe two to three sets of 15 if appropriate for your injury.